Today in this video we're focused on the auditing of statistical process control, particularly focused on process stability. Watch this video and see whether the auditor audits this effectively. Uh, so you may have seen that I've been spending some time on the shop floor this morning yeah. uh, and I've been following through this part number 2593 yeah. um, and I've seen on this part in the control plan there is a special characteristic Yes. and the guys on the shop floor were telling me that that is the important dimension yeah. on the product. Yeah. Maybe first, can you explain your role? Yeah, so I'm, I work in the quality department and I do a lot of the SPC inspection. So I'll go out, get samples off production, bring them in here, measure them. Uh, for that characteristic, we'll use a vernier. It will automatically take the data into the system and create a, a control chart. Right, great. And what frequency do you take the product? So again, that's as per the control plan. So um, we would go out there every hour and we yeah. would take a sample uh, of components, bring them in here, measure that width, and that would get input into the system. Right, thank you. And I see this XBRR chart then. So can you explain to me then your rules of interpretation? How do we interpret yeah. the data that you're showing me here? Yeah. So um, obviously we, we've got the control limit, so we look to make sure that our data is within our control limits and we also look at our CPK value. We'll come to that so, in a, in a yeah. few minutes. Yeah. And explain to me where do these come from? What you call USL and LCL. Yeah. So, Where do you get those from? So the, the U, USL, that's the upper spec, and then we got the lower spec, so we, we can see our specification of that should match up with the control plan. Um, and then the control limits are how our process is working within that specification. Right, and just looking, this is where I have a concern, because on here what it says is that dimension should be eight millimeters plus or minus 0.1. Yep. What you've got on here, you've got the specification limit set at 10 millimetres plus or minus 0.1. Now obviously that's quite a big difference. Why, why have we got those specification limits that, set where they are? That is as per the drawing, but yeah, I'm not sure why that is But you is can different. see that says yes. there, eight. Yeah. Now I think I did see the drawing, and the drawing did say 10. 10, yeah. But so the control plan clearly says that special yeah. characteristic yeah. is eight millimeters. Yeah, no, that's, so I have yeah. a concern over that. Yeah. What about the rules of interpretation then of the data that you're showing me? So to be honest, we rely heavily on the software that will flag up anything we need to be worried about. Um, there are patterns, obviously, so we look at the points within the control limit so any of you know if one of those points was outside the control limit that would show as red and would start flashing and we would right. have to um, take some action but I see here for example that you've got eight points going up yeah but I don't see any warning for that no it is showing those as green um, I think because they're within the control limits um, the system is saying that's okay, but um, we'll have to wait and see with the next set of measurements where the next point is. Uh, but that also would get fed back into production, so they might have made some adjustments uh, based on, on this. Right, I do want to follow up on that Ooh. then, um, about the rules of interpretation, yeah. because for me, Okay, you're using software, but it's not clear anywhere what those rules of yeah. interpretations are. Yeah. So I will be following up okay. on that a little yeah. bit further. Yeah. The first good thing is the auditor was focusing on the control of a special characteristic, which the organisation said they were using statistical process control to monitor the variation. Second good thing is the auditor was questioning the organization on the data collection, how the data was analyzed, and what were the rules for interpretation. And it was clear that the organization's representative 
did not really have good statistical understanding of the process variation. The auditor also followed the trail on the specification limits that were included within the control chart and they identified there was a problem in the specification limit in the drawing versus the specification limit that was being used and shown within the control chart. So let's summarize the key learning points. The first thing is when auditors are auditing statistical process control, they themselves must have good statistical understanding. One of the things that the auditors should question is what are the rules of interpretation within a control chart that may identify if there are special causes present. And in this case, the auditees said that a special cause may be points outside of the control limits, but in the data seen, there were eight points increasing that itself might identify a special cause, but the people interpreting the results were not really aware of what those rules of interpretation are. So I think that is a key point that needs to be understood by the auditor and then the auditor needs to have the ability to question the organization's auditees on their effective understanding and interpretation of any statistical chart.